Paddle Point Park, Rowlett, Texas. Finally got around to getting a few aerial shots today. It's December 25th, 2021, Christmas Day, in Texas. The weather was fantastic in the 80s, mid 80s. Really unusual for our area, so. I had the opportunity today to uh, come out to the park over here. I don't come out to this spot often because it, because it isn't my local lake. Um, I live closer to Levon Lake, so I frequent that park uh, more often on my stand-up paddleboard. But um, I do like to come out to this spot here and. The winds were not too bad. They were coming in from like, I think the south or west. I wasn't really paying attention to the winds too much because all I saw in the forecast was that the winds were gonna be calm today. So I basically ignored it. But usually when I come out to this spot, I'm looking at the weather forecast and the winds specifically and which direction the winds are coming from uh, because I've seen it get pretty rough out here and uh, I've seen people have to have uh, emergency services come out and pluck them out of the water because it's, it gets pretty nasty out here if you're not careful. But as you can see, this spot that I'm in right now, it's like glass. Uh, it's perfect. The weather is perfect. Um, Whenever you see uh, the the, pad the launch was over there by the uh, water tower. That's where you basically park and drop in. It's free, free parking, free drop in. Really tiny parking lot, so there isn't much parking at all. So it gets really busy sometimes in the summer. Uh, today it was pretty busy, but usually the normal in the winter is that it dies down. There's plenty of parking. You won't see you won't have a lot of people out here paddling. But uh, there there were a few people out here. Uh, paddle boarding so the plan today was uh, to basically experiment a little bit with my drone because I didn't I haven't really done much aerial shots with my drone yet and uh, I figured today would be a perfect opportunity to to practice getting a few shots so I can basically see what my technique looks like what I look like from a third third eye perspective which can be good and so I can also kind of gauge what I need to do to get better shots with the drone uh, and I do have a few things that I learned after doing all these shots uh, this is like some sort of a railroad bridge here in the summer you'll, you'll see kids up here jumping off of the bridge into the water I'm not too sure if that's too smart. I'm not too sure how deep the water is here, but there are logs and trees embedded in the lake, which can impale you. That's the launch right there behind me. You can see that there's a nice parking lot. There's a a porta potty back over there. There's a dock that you can drop in on, or you can uh, drop in on a gravel ramp. I prefer the gravel ramp with my SUP board. So, in this shot here, this is President George Bush Tollway PGBT 190 behind me. I typically like to launch at paddle point and then paddle out to the highway here. And then coming around here on the back side there, that bridge right there is uh, I-30, which goes east-west. So it's a fun little paddle. Uh, the way to get there is basically to paddle straight ahead here. This is, again, back at the paddle point area. To the right, there's an opening there with a bridge. You just kind of paddle under it and point your nose south southwest and go at it it's about a mile and a half away it's a nice workout this is a nice spot because there's some pretty good shelter from that large landmass there ahead of me 
so when there's like heavy winds and stuff like that you can actually have some nice little calm pockets but you still have to be kind of careful because I've seen it get pretty messy by the bridge openings and you could possibly still end up in some some trouble if you decide you're gonna just uh, do a downwinder and then end up uh, in a battle on your way back to your car. There's a few of the trees there on the right. You gotta watch out for those. You got some stumps under the water. Definitely want to try to stay away from those things. They can be really sharp. Back out at George Bush now, so I'm I'm about maybe two miles away. I'd say mile and a half, mile and a qu three quarters away from uh, Paddle Point. It's pretty risky coming out here. This is a, a pretty big open water area, which means the potential for uh, the water surface conditions to change rapidly are a lot higher than in that nice little paddle point area where you're sheltered with those land masses. Out here, uh, things will change direction pretty quickly. Sometimes the wind will change direction and the bumps will just start coming in from different directions. So right now I'm actually going sort of crosswind because the wind was coming in from the south so I'm actually it looks like I'm kind of turning into the into the headwind right now which can be a little tricky but uh, once you get that nose nose pointed into the headwind it's uh, pretty much just grind right into it just uh, punch that nose right through that chop so this is definitely the direction of going into the headwind right here. You can kind of see the bumps in the water following the direction of the wind. I, I like to point the nose into the wind whenever I come out into open water. It's a lot easier than t taking on side chop because my board is pretty narrow. It's 24.5, which is 24 and a half inches wide by 14 feet long. So it can get a little messy with side chop. So I, I kind of like to keep things with my nose either pointed upwind or downwind. And it looks like right now I'm headed back uh, basically downwind. So the paddle point is almost straight ahead to the left. You kind of go straight and then left. And uh, this vantage point right here is pretty neat because you don't really get this a lot with your cell phone camera shots and stuff. I mean, this is almost as close to what I see every time I come out and stand up paddle board. This is what I'm looking at. And it's not much, you're looking at water and you're looking out into the horizon at landmarks like little buildings and trees like way out in the distance you're basically pointing your nose in the direction that you want to go and it can be a little deceiving when you're out there it can look like things are a lot closer than they actually are but sometimes i get I'll get out there and then I'll, I'll spot something on the distance. I'll be like, all right, I'm gonna go out there and shoot, point my nose and then just shoot straight out to that, that tree out in the distance. And then it ends up being a lot farther than I expected. But uh, for the most part, it's, it's pretty cool, man. Uh, it was really calm today out here. It wasn't bad at all. I didn't have a chance to really go. I only did like six miles uh, because I was doing the drone shots and just screwing around. But anyways, clip is almost over. I'm gonna wrap this up. Hope you guys enjoyed the clip. I'm hoping to get the drone out 
onto the open water again soon. See ya.